let's do this. Um, I already filled the water up. I didn't go to the max because I never feel like I need to. And I'm turning it to cotton, linen, and rayon wool. Oh, where's the box? This is the iron I bought, Hamilton Beach retractable cord. Like, it's got steam, it's got numerous different ways, or what the hell is in here? Numerous different uh, settings. That's the word I was looking for. And it's just really nice. So I have to wait a little while for it to heat up. Alrighty, so first thing I do is just get it as flat as I can get it on its own. And so long as your iron is clean and the board is clean, I don't ever use um, a towel or anything in between them. So, you know, I don't leave it on there to burn through the fabric. But, okay, so already it's pretty flat compared to what it was before, but if you can see, there's still a lot of lines where it's been folded. I am going to steam it a little. If you ever come across one that is really, really difficult, the table's moving a little, uh, using the spray really helps. It makes it darker, obviously, when it's still wet, but once it dries, it's fine. So you don't need to worry about it. I'm actually gonna spray it There we go. But yeah, um, ironing really isn't difficult. I actually taught myself how to do it because <laughs> every time I asked my mom, she would just do it for me. She wouldn't actually be like, okay, so do this. But I mean, it's pretty intuitive, and if you're if you are worried, uh, a lot of them come with like you know it's, it's simple instruction manuals, and you can just follow that. So you know, really, don't be worried. If you are worried, um, I would just grab like a really old pair of jeans that you don't care about, and just do whatever you can to it. You know, like get to the bottom and try and iron all that out. You'll get an idea. I wish I'd clipped it a little bit earlier. I didn't really realize that it was going to be bigger than my table. Although I don't even need to worry about these edges because they will get clipped. <laughs> how she looks. Oh yes, this is much better. I can't really see. I think she looks very good now. I'm sorry that it took me so long to get around to ironing it. Um, if you follow my Facebook page, you know I got really sick right after I filmed the last one. And, and like, it wasn't gradual. It was, I was in the middle of editing it, and then it just hit me, and I was like, Ugh. and although that was, that might have been amusing just then, when I'm actually sick, it's not. No one wants to see that. <laughs> so, um, there was that, and I was sick pretty much that entire weekend into the next week, beginning with my classes. So, that really sucked. And then I had exams and quizzes and homework and four projects. One I'm actually about to go do in a little while with a friend. 
I'm going to try and go to the store to find a frame that works for it. Uh, my friend who I'm planning to give it to, she said that she has a ton of frames at her house, so I shouldn't buy her one. But I was like, come on, you know? <laughs> you guys get it. Um, and I also need to buy a frame for the... Uh, Fairy Queen? Is that what she's called? The really pretty purple one I did recently? I, I think all I showed you guys was the final product. I didn't video myself working on it at all. Um, I've had that one done for a really long time now, but every time I go to the store, I either forget that I need to buy a frame for it, or I get there and I'm like, I don't remember the dimensions for it. So, the chances of me getting one that are, that's too small, it's, you know... Ugh. <laughs> but, um, yeah. If I do find frames for them, I will show you guys me framing them. And if I need to, obviously, I will cut them. Um, I think that's it. I will let you guys go. Or, well, actually, I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to go to the store to buy frames. So I'm not letting you go. I'm letting myself go. <laughs> Bye! I am happy to announce I found frames for both of them. Uh, I'm going to do the Fairy Queen first, just because it looks like all I have to do is snip off a little on the edge and it'll work. We'll see. But yeah, I drove down to the Michaels, that's like less than five minutes from my house, <laughs> and found what I needed pretty easily. I even went in, I was really worried because this one is like... A little over six inches by 13 so it's like I'm never gonna find one that fits that size because that is so weird eight and a half by 14 and it looks like it'll work so yippee oh I will have to trim the edges slightly I think yeah let's see how this looks though Okay, I'm just gonna have to trim all of it a little bit. <laughs> Dang it! You guys said you want to see everything, so... Hopefully I'm smart enough to fast forward through this, though. This is really boring. What I used to do when I would frame pictures is uh, actually leave them quite a bit longer than the frame itself, and I would fold it over and tape it, and I just, when it's in, in my house, you know, I don't give a crap if the back looks nice or not, but I'm giving both of these to friends, and I don't want them to look at the back and be like, what the hell? And, uh, because that does make it, uh, thicker than it needs to be, it can be difficult to find a nice spot to hang it up. I don't want my friends to have to deal with that. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to tape it down on the corners, just so if it moves around at all, it won't be such an issue. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is how it, oops, I'm holding it way too high. 
This is how I've got it so far. I'm going to work with this. Oh, there's this one frame. <laughs> oh, I hate these backs. Okay, let me. Okay, good. <laughs> Just had to make sure. There she is. All right, I'm going to do this. Hopefully, it's not super crooked. Here is the fairy dragon cross stitch. I can't really do this. <laughs> I'm going to be taking pictures of it and putting it up on Facebook, so that should probably look better. And the fairy queen! Yay! So, there you go! It took me forever to get around to doing both of those, but I've done it now, so yay! There was a YouTuber who asked me to show you guys me making one of those pillows, the, the little square ones. Okay, I can't use both of my hands right now. <laughs> and the ones I've already done are this dragon and this owl. So you guys can pick if I do a castle. I don't know if you can, how well you guys can see this. I hope you can. Um, a unicorn. There's also... I know there's more. Hold on. There are. Not this one. I've already done that one. <laughs> this cat and these two. I don't know if you can see those, I can't tell. There we go, those two. <laughs> uh, obviously there are other square ones in other books, but I just want to keep with this one for now while doing the pillows. So yeah, Unicorn Castle or Three Other Cats. Let me know which one you guys would like me to make next, because I'm going to make it into a pillow. And, um, <clears throat> not when I just went up to Michael's now, but the time before that, when I went, I bought some beads like stuffing beads, not ones to thread and put into your projects to make them look pretty. So I can either fill the pillow up with fluff or beads. So obviously the beads will be heavier. So, I mean, it's totally up to you guys. You know, I'm up for whatever. 